just thinking about uh, years ago, Edie and I lived in the Smoky Mountains. <clears throat> and I used to drive a school bus for Knoxville uh, Baptist Christian School. And I taught the fourth grade. But I had to drive a school bus and uh, teach fourth grade and pastor of the church. And uh, I was the treasurer of the church and the song leader. My wife was a piano player. And uh, I was the official street preacher and visitor and uh, all the other things that went on in the church. It had a few preacher boys in the church and I took them out on Saturday when we didn't have anything else to do and we preached at the Green Acres uh, flea market. And, uh, and we drive through, we'd have drive through preaching or drive by preaching. We had a little pulpit in the back of the truck. They wouldn't let you stop in the shopping center, so we'd just drive by. <laughs> and we'd go, the Bible says you must be born again! <laughs> <laughs> and we'd have a few troops on the ground there passing that literature. And uh, you'd say, well, you're a militant church? Yeah, I guess we were. <clears throat> but uh, I always preach. One of my favorite places to preach there was Alco and Maryville were twin cities there, and the only difference between was a sign there. One side of it said uh, Alcoa, and then the other side pulled across the ground there, and it says uh, Maryville. So I preach right there. Police come. I just step over on the other side of the sign. <laughs> <laughs> preach over there. They call the police over there. They never did both come at the same time. So. <laughs> Well, I did get called in a few times. But anyway, we lived in the Smoky Mountains, and I, I was driving that school bus, and I used to get up before daylight, or right around daylight, and, and uh, especially this time of year, the sun would come up earlier. And, and I drove through a pass on Highway 321, come down out of the uh, mountains there where we live, and, uh, and I get up on the, the main highway, went through this little pass in the mountains, and uh, <clears throat> there was a little river valley there. Boy, I drive through there, and I'd always look in the rearview mirror there when I drive through, because you could look back and see, and it wouldn't be safe to uh, turn around and look, because you, you know, the little river down on this side, about 500 foot down there, and there's a rock wall on this side, so you just kind of had to keep the eyes on the road. I'd look in the rearview mirror. They had one place where you could pull off. Well, I'm telling you, I was coming to there one morning and I'd been listening uh, to some good singing and fellowshipping with God. And he got real in that little school bus there. I think it was an old Chevrolet Bluebird. <laughs> and uh, <clears throat> I just pulled off the side of that little drive-by place there, pulled off of that little thing, and that's all I could say. And I couldn't stand it anymore. I put it in, in uh, emergency brake on and, and turned the bus off and ran up and down. The aisle, <laughs> the middle aisle of the bus there shouting. I looked in the rear view mirror there and the sun was coming up over the Smoky Mountains from the east behind me and, and the fog and the clouds were pouring through that gap in the mountains and there was a big uh, <clears throat> ridge went down this way and Walden's Mountain down this way behind us and, and they just over the top of that uh, sun the it melted the clouds away there, and you can see the top of those mountain stairs stepping on up all the way to Clingman Stone. Beautiful sight. But I'll tell you, God got more beautiful than the sight did. <laughs> and it's a one, I, I, that thing is etched in my mind. I'll never forget that as long as I live. Sure is uh, good to know Him. Sure is good to uh, have some sweet memories you can look back on. My mind. <clears throat> How sweet it is. I remember when I first got saved, I was in the jailhouse, and after a while they decided to turn me loose. I remember catching the elevator from the attic and going all the way down to the basement. Coming down and getting out of that old steel elevator, I've been walking around on concrete floors and had steel walls, steel ceiling, bars all around me, and filth. Well, I remember 
going through there like Brother Mark said there, I slipped in that little thing there and they said stand back and I stood back and they hit that electric button, oh, you know, and flipped me around and locked the door behind me and let the one in front open and I walked down there and, and the jailer took me on the elevator and, and uh, <clears throat> my mama met me downstairs and I walked up out of the basement of that uh, Union City Courthouse out into the sunshine. About this time of day. Well, I'll tell you what a sweet sight it was. I got out there and I, she, I just took off right across the grass there, pulled my shoes off, started walking out of, I don't even think I had any shoes there, but anyway, I started walking out across the grass feeling some real dirt. I mean, some clean dirt. It wouldn't feel. The only kind of stuff there was in that jailhouse was filth there. But this was real clean. I mean, I got me a handful of that dirt there and just felt of it and smelled of it and, and uh, <clears throat> sat down underneath one of those big maple trees about that big around in front of the courthouse and ran my hands over the top of something that was alive and wood made out of steel and wood man-made to something that God made. Got in the car with my mama. She had one of them old uh, push-button dodges. Ugliest thing is ever invented. And we're driving down the road, and uh, we're, she had the radio station on, uh, uh, <clears throat> I can't remember the call letters of it, but it was in uh, Orangeville, Missouri. And they signed off every day with a gospel song. Closed out the afternoon, every evening, about 6 o'clock or something like that. And they said, well, today we're going to play this little song, gospel song for you. And uh, it was Take Up Thy Cross, my woman. I thought about this morning when they were singing. I promised the Lord in my heart, I said, Lord, wherever you want me to go, I'll go. Whatever you want me to do, I'll do. I'll become what you want me to be. Yes. Well, I'll tell you, I've tried to keep that promise ever since. I've slid, and I've slid. And I told uh, Sister Matt, I, I said, uh, <coughs> I see you got a little hitch in your get-along. She said, I do. <laughs> I've had a few hitches in my get-along <laughs> through the years there, but I'm glad. I'm pressing on. Amen, Amen I'm pressing on. Amen. I'm holding on. <laughs> and... Uh, the Lord's holding on me. I appreciate that. Appreciate His mercy. Look at John chapter number 1. John chapter number 1 tonight. The Bible says, In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. The same was in the beginning with God. All things were made by Him, and without Him was not anything made. Yes. That was made. Yes. I wouldn't be anything if He hadn't made me. Yes. yes. I'm so glad he came inside of me. He started with hammer and thong. <laughs> started pounding out a brand new me. Thank God he isn't through yet. It's the hammer still banging. Amen. <laughs> without him, and without him was not anything made that was made. In him was life, and the life was light of men. The light shined in darkness, and the darkness comprehended it not. There was a man sent from God whose name was John. The same came for a witness, a bear witness of that light that was uh, <coughs> uh, that all men through him might believe. He was not that light, but was sent to bear witness of that light that was a true light. The light of every man that cometh into the world. He was in the world, and the world was made by him, and the world knew him not. He came into his own, his own was seen him not. But look at this, it says, but I like that when God butts into your life. <laughs> Amen. But, oh, thank God for all the buts in the Bible. <laughs> Amen. But, as many as received Him, I'm glad I received Him. What's one of the favorite verses when I talk to somebody about their soul there? As many as received Him. Will you receive Him? I did. As re many as received Him to them. Gave he power to become the sons of God, even to them that believe on his name, which were born not of blood, nor the will of the flesh, nor the will of man, but of God. The word was made flesh and dwelt among us. We beheld his glory, his only glory uh, of the only begotten of the Father, 